Today we're going to review the DC Universe Classics All-Star Superman. And there's Superman in this package here. Scroll down here a little bit. Superman with this nice logo and All-Star's Classic Superman. You know, at first when I saw this figure on the internet I wasn't too impressed. But seeing it in package, he looks pretty good. There's the top of his card. And, um... Standard biography of Superman. Nothing unusual. If you can read that, pause it. I'm not going to. An interesting thing about ManyCollector.com. Expand your collection. Diverse character selection. Build out your favorite teams. ManyCollector.com. Then you have the four that are in this wave. You have Superman. You have Batman. Then you have Red Robin, and then you have Superboy Prime, which I have all four of those, thanks to BBTS, Big Bad Toy Force, dot com. I'm really happy that I got these. I'm glad I didn't have to search Walmart for the rest of my life to find them. And that's one thing nice about collecting figures is you could just go online. But there is fun to search and form at the store, but I'm all tired out looking for all those Dark Knight figures, which I have. All of them. Yay. Alright, so let's take Superman. Alright, let's take Superman out of the package and let's review him. Alright, here we got Superman. Superman out of the package here and he does look pretty nice. I like, I like his head scope. I prefer, he looks a lot younger in the new 52. I prefer the older Superman look than the younger Superman but this is not bad it's better than I saw on the internet and um, let's see. I like his S his S is well it's got big chest there and um, hmm. nice black scroll down nice boots there's some detailing on his boots there which is cool nice red material they use for him let's go over Superman's articulation here standard DC UC articulation he has the heads you know what he's supposed to have the head swivel but mine doesn't even turn it feels it's so tight it feels like it's gonna break it's making this clicking noise so I'm not even going to bother with that. There's a bicep swivel, wrist, wrist swivel, knee, ankle which are really tight. Unfortunately my Superman suffers from loose leg syndrome. That kind of sucks. Nothing worse than opening up a package and he's loose. But I can't even get his head to turn, so. He does have, he's supposed to have waist articulation, but man, it feels like it's going to break or something. Oh. oh, crap. Look at that. Dang it. He's... His um, ab crunch was so tight, I popped it, and now he's like, oh, 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 that's nasty. So that sucks. Wow. Dang it. Well, I don't play with these, I just pose them, so he can stand on his own, so. Wow. Man, that really bites. Nice blue hair. Black and blue comic book here. Let's do a size comparison. All right, we have Superman and DC superhero Superman, and as you can tell, about the same height. And um, I would almost have to say this DC superhero Superman is still my favorite Superman. 
except for his straight, strange leg stance. But I like his head sculpt better. He's the older looking Superman. His chest doesn't stick out as much as the new Superman for some reason. Alright, now here is Superman with the new Red Robin from the same um, wave. There is no way in the world Red Robin should be bigger than Superman. That is crazy scale. Off scale. It almost, to me, it's like Mattel didn't know who Red Robin was and this made him with humongous legs. Long legs, at least. Red Robin is way too tall. Superman is supposed to be taller, I would think. So to me, this is almost like a super boy than a... Or, I don't know. I'm really upset about that a little bit. So do I recommend this Superman? Yeah, I would say go get him. I mean... You know... I have, mine has QC issues. He's loose as a goose. He is shorter than Red Robin, or Red Robin's just too tall. He does look like more of a Superboy than a Superman. But if you're a diehard Superman fan, yeah, I would say go get him. There's no collect and connect piece, so if you do skip out, it's not going to hurt anything. Alright, so stay tuned to my next review. It'll be Red Robin. Thanks.